I'll have to add some extra poles sunk into the ground and lashed them to create a platform there for the first tree house. Come across to this one with a little swinging bridge. Last time I spent 30 days surviving in the Canadian Rockies, but now... Effective this Thursday morning, April 2nd, until April 30th, I am ordering all Maine people to stay at home. So this is the 30 day survival challenge, Maine lockdown. Vision! I want you to catch sleep. Nice thing about working at home is I get to use my chainsaw. Gonna head out into the yard and build that tree fort I've been promising to build for the girls for a while. It's the day they go back to mom's house. So we spent the morning cleaning the house as we always do and I put on a big old pot of fish head soup. Aren't they just gonna be so happy to have a bowl of that good hearty fish head soup before they go back to be with their mom? kind of taking it as a dad challenge as you can see I added a bunch of extra stuff I'm not eating it the way I did out in Patagonia because there was nothing else to add to it so I uh, added some vegetables it's been two days since I said I was gonna set those aside for fish head soup so see if I can't trick them and have them enjoy it and then tell them it's fish head soup <laughs> All right, we got our bank line, our cutting tools, our really nice cutting tool. Where are we gonna build our tree fort? Over there. Over there where the oaks are? We got two types of forest here. I only got like an acre and a half here at the like townhouse. We got like oak on this side and pine over there on that side. And I climbed one of the pines. You did? Too pokey of a leaf. I think we should go over here where the oaks are as better building materials. Nice group of four trees there. These guys are awful big. I want to build a lashed together tree fort, not unlike I did there um, in the Rocky Mountains, something for the kids to play on and build little swinging bridges between them and keep expanding over the years. 
Um, but if I'm to start, if I start with really big trees, I can build something really solid, but that will require something that they, the trees can grow in and around and stuff. If I start with smaller trees, it'll be easier to lash to them. I won't use like a hundred yards just to lash one piece on. So I think we're gonna try to find a couple of these smaller trees over here. Here we go, there's a couple of oaks. Now three or four would be better so I have some way to lash it. And I don't have a lot of materials here so we'll have to go up to the land and get more materials. We might have enough today though to get it started. But I have a trick. Jiffy sent me a dirt drill that I can put on my ice drill so I can drill and set some posts to add to these trees and lash the whole mess together. I have to clear some of this underbrush and get the party started. You guys ready? Let me know if you find some gold in our yard. What are you doing, Sparrow? It would be nice. house so they can trap fairies. All right, there. Now you can put the moss over onto it. Ready? There. Now you got a little fairy cave. You gonna put some nuts in there to get the fairy to come in? Oh, that post. That could be a little window right here. I got it envisioned. I can see it now. Got these two trees here. I'll have to add some extra poles sunk into the ground and lashed them to create a platform there for the first tree house. Come across to this one with a little swinging bridge, a little platform here, and then to those two trees over there for a second platform over there that with another swinging bridge to it. And that'll be my goal for in this next, during this 30 day uh, staying at home lockdown survival challenge is get this thing built for the kids. So they each have their own platform and a little central platform to meet up in the middle kind of thing and then some uh i don't know other unique features that i come up with maybe a tennis ball slingshot so they can uh, attack each other or me if i try to i don't know we'll have some fun with it and then i want to turn this whole area right through here over the years into more just a whole village of tree forts and little creations for them it'll be the coolest kids tree house ever let's do it Everybody clear? I promise not to hit your fairy port. Just go over there by Abby. Jiffy Ice Drill with their Badger Dirt Auger. I guess Jiffy owns like three different brands and they got a uh, what's that, four or five inch ground auger on it. Got some blades on her. Let's see if we can't drill a ground hole with it. If this works, I'm gonna be so psyched. I have so many projects of like, I wanna build a little awning over my shooting area, an awning for where I shoot from during really hot sunny days so I can shoot outside. I've already built that table over there and that took forever with the, the gas post hole digger, you know, getting it ready, getting it to work, getting it started after the city year. It's always been that. I want to do is like four inch post hole. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! The second hole turned out even better than the first one. Right there? Yeah. Way up here? Yeah. All the way up there? As tall as as tall as dad is? That's a good height. Maybe a little lower. Right here? Yeah, that's it. Right there? That's a way low. Your instructions are way off. That's better. That's a little straighter.
All right, cool feature number one of any Fowler tree fort hammock hammock installation. <laughs> How is it? I have any, wow, this is, this is awesome. Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. Is ready. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Ready? Dear Jesus, thank you for this food. Bless this food to our bodies. And thank you that we had this time to spend together and build Tree Fort and this soup that you gave us. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. And the LOLs. They love these LOL surprise dolls. And they earned them. All that housework that you did today, cleaning the house. All your hard work, helping me take and uh, set the lobster traps. No, all right, stop fondling it. You still have to eat your soup. Mm -hmm. You know what kind of soup this is? What? You try it and see if you can tell me. Fish soup, fish head soup. Yeah, it's, and you know what the significance of fish head soup is? Fish. No, well, you know why it's so special? Why? Because this is the reason that we were able to have this home. Fish? Yeah, because when I was out there for 87 days in the wilderness, God bring me 63 fish and two birds, and he gave me the wisdom to turn every single one of those fish after I ate it, use all the bones and all the heads to make fish head soup. And that's what kept me alive for 87 days and brought home the wind for this family, so I was able to buy us this house, and so I'm able to buy you things like these LOLs, and so we're able to have the things that we have because... <coughs> of fish head soup. <coughs> this is so much better than the fish head soup I made in Patagonia. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sparrow. I can't blow it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the pig head stew I made was gross, but this isn't gross and you haven't even really taken a bite. Mm. In the On the Ice series, I made a, a fish head soup that was pretty good that passed muster for Alex Parrick who has never had fish head soup. So, and instead of rice, since I'm trying to do with the keto and be, instead of rice, I'm trying to be fastidious and Unicorn. sparrow. I love it. I know, honey. You can it's hardly, good. it's good. Now that you, see, now that you're eating it, you like it? Mm -hmm. If you don't do the cauliflower long, you grind it up and throw it in. It tastes just like rice. Yeah, it's just like rice. And delicious. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Watching you eat is horrible. You like it, Sparrow? It's good? Well, there you have it. Kids tested, parents approved. The cauliflower, you grind it up real quick. And uh, I was worried it wouldn't work with the frozen stuff, but I only threw that cauliflower in like last second, knowing that you just, you just need to, I don't know what they would call it, blanch, cook it or whatever. And so it's warm to go with everything else. Cause you want, still want that toughness. So it resembles rice. All right, all right. Oh, oh my it's God! It's the lemonade edition. As cheesy as it is, and we try not to be things and stuff people, they uh, they definitely earned these. But uh, if you got a niece or a nephew and you're trying to figure out what to get for them, you just can't you can't go wrong with LOLs. I don't know what it is. These yeah. Kids love them. They go nuts. <gasps> Who'd you get? Mm, it's a boy. How do you know it's a boy? Oh, honey. 
I'm sorry. 